The United Nations has warned that Somalia is suffering its worst drought in 40 years. The crisis, fueled by a lack of seasonal rains, has left more than 6 million people vulnerable. Many families are being forced to migrate from their homes in search of water and food. Our correspondent Catherine Bayuranga has more from southern Somalia. <laughs> The mass movement of people across Somalia. Grandparents, children, neighbours leaving their homes, carrying all they have because their land has become hostile. The United Nations says drought has forced more than 750,000 people from their homes since October. Abdekadir Abdinur and his family walked 300 kilometers to get to this camp in southern Somalia, but some were left behind. I'm feeling sad because the other people we left back there. I am worried about their survival. Where are the children? Our children are suffering. There are children we left on the road. And some children do not survive the journey to get help. Fadosa, who was three years old, is buried here. She died shortly after arriving at the camp. She was malnourished and suffering from measles and hepatitis. Her mother and grandmother come here to visit her grave. She suffered a lot the night before she died, and by the morning she was gone. Another grave is being dug for a little girl who we understand died from measles last night. The people here tell us she was also malnourished. Most children won't die because they're simply hungry. It just means that their bodies are too weak to fight off infections that they could survive. And as the drought rages on, it's children many are worried about. The UN estimates 1.4 million children in Somalia will suffer from malnutrition this year. Some of the most severe cases are brought here to Banadir Hospital in the capital Mogadishu. But every bed on this specialist ward is taken. So there's no space for baby Hodan carried in by her mother Hamdi. They will have to wait till a bed is free. If we could cultivate our farms, we could have eaten our own food and store some of it. But now, where can we get food? Somalia needs aid to get through this drought. But international prices are already going up. The war in Ukraine is the latest shock to global supplies. And the facts that the world's attention and donor funding are focused on a war thousands of kilometers away. Many warn the crisis affecting Somalia and its neighbors is being forgotten. Resources are really, really small. 15% of the Somalia appeal has been funded. Uh, so that's really, and needs are increasing every day. So I think there's a lot of concern that we might be uh, heading to, you know, risk of famine is coming soon. But now when the needs grow, I, I really don't know, unless we get the money now, now, uh, it's going to be extremely difficult. But baby Fadosa's family have already had to bury her and are left with the guilt of not being able to save her. If it wasn't for the drought and if I had my animals, my granddaughter wouldn't have died. She died because I couldn't find anything to save her. The focus is now on keeping everyone, especially the youngest, alive. Catherine Biarahanga, BBC News, Dolo, Southern Somalia.